Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy J Mitch. Uh, thank y'all for joining today. Wanted y'all to get a look at my newest and greatest creation. On the left, you have the Rovan XLT450 uh, brushless conversion. Got this from my buddy Elbert Mack. Thank you, Elbert. Definitely want to give that man a shout out. Um, if you look on this channel, he has plenty of videos of this car doing some speed runs. There was an accident on it. There's a couple things that happened with it, um, but he got it back together and he sold it to me. I wanted to build the next LT450 myself, um, and we made a deal. We made a trade um, for this car. Uh, I, I sent him my Vector, um, but we, we 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 evened it up. So major shout out to him. Thank you. Uh, but uh, check out his channel. I just want to shout him out. Um, but the video is really not about this XLT450, it's about what's next to the XLT450. Little background on the XLT450, it is based off of the Rovan SLT, uh, which is a, um, a clone of the Losi 5T. Um, so this is a monster truck based off of a Losi 5T. Now what's next to it is what I would like to call the world's first low C5 MT 2.0 brushless conversion. A lot, uh, there was a mouthful there. But I wanna show you guys this car um, and I wanna go through some details of the car. So I'm just gonna walk around and let you guys get a look at her working with limited space here, but give you guys a serious size comparison of the both the cars. Um, they're both um, about the same ride height um, but the idea the concept of this car was what if low C bought back the MTXL and built it on a low C 5T platform that's what this car is I know a lot of people are going to be triggered by what I'm calling it the world's first low C 5 MT 2.0 but I'm going to take you under the hood for a little closer um, look um, and let you guys see the details underneath and what I have going on with the car. And I'll go over every crevice of the car. So many people to thank that helped me build this car. But stay tuned. Just give you guys another quick shot of both of these cars side by side. You guys know I've been doing little video, little little picture drops here and there, just to kind of show you guys what I had coming down the pipe. Nobody has one of these, not the way that I did it. So stay tuned. Hey, y'all seen this side by sides. Let's go through the car. I'm going to try to shout out people as we go. So first person I already shouted out was Elver Mack. Next person I need to shout out that you can see is Marvin Jones from the DNA RC group. Mounting this body on the XLT 450 or the uh, 5T with the stance that this car has was uh, 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 something I couldn't wrap my mind around. I reached out to Marvin Jones. If you take a look, he has an XLT 450 with this same body in white on his car blinged out um so um elbert actually referred me to him and then um i just reached out to him and i'm in the philly area um uh marvin he's in the maryland baltimore area really basically within 90 minutes of each other uh and we just talked on the phone and anytime i had a question about anything about the xlt 450 and any special things he had going on there he helped me no shade at all forthcoming with everything so i gotta shout him out uh with helping me get the body mounted so i'll go through the bill and as we go i'll uh, shout people out as we come across some of the custom parts that are involved in the car so first off we're going to start with the wheels i am running the door track lock up x's all around with um um the, their belted tires and i'm running the dgi wheel nuts i am ordering some red dgi wheel nuts um just because it's it, I, I like the black and the blue combo, but underneath I'm running red A-arms 
um, and, and suspension components. And I just think the red will pop a little bit more better than blue. That's just that little fine tuning touch. Um, shout out to my man, Dave Hubbard. This, this build is really dedicated to him. I'll stop here real quick and just talk about Dave. Uh, me and Dave, um, this was one of the last builds Dave and I talked about before he passed away. Uh, so I'm really dedicating this build to him um, and just want to say thank you uh, for, for all his help and all the support. He was one of the first people, to, one of the first people who subscribed to my channel. And I think because of him, my channel has grown because he's influenced me a lot. He's let kind of, he started off kind of as the guy, hey, I love your channel. And we started talking about bills. And then just from there, we just became real best friends and became brothers. Um, so really, really, you know, I miss you, Dave. Um, uh, thank you for everything you've had, uh, you, you've, um, you've bought to me um i'm all performance you're about that bling I, i'm all about going fast he was just about the fine touches the, the beauty of the car the components uh just top quality components on the car was his thing so all right that's enough i'm just gonna say thanks dave bills dedicated to my boy dave hubbard rest in peace my guy um so anyway let me continue to go around the outside of the car uh, from Rovan and King Motors, I am running the 30 degrees north uh, body in black. This is this is a beast, you know. This black is crazy, man. Um, then got a shout out uh, full force RC. I'm running the full force RC rear, uh, um, I guess mud or windshields on the car. Um, got the low C uh, number plates. Also, I'm running the full force RC mud guards underneath the car along with the outer wears uh dust shroud on the car to keep the dirt off you guys know if you have a 5t you know these things are like vacuum cleaners they pick up everything this uh this car you got you guys will see but i just kind of want you guys to get a good look at the car on the outside this is a fresh build this car has not been ran yet um but she's about she's ready for that work right about now um, you guys see, look, I have one on top of my washer machine. She had one on a washer machine and dryer. That's crazy. Uh, but anyway, um, let me take the lid off and let you guys get a look at we, what we have going on underneath the, this, this lid here. So what exactly are you guys looking at? I'll tell you what you're looking at. I will tell you what you're looking at. All right. Let's start with these custom shock towers major shout out to mad speed and mgs performance for these car one of a kind one of one um carbon fiber uh shock towers i part of the reason i bought this roban is because i could not find roban wouldn't just sell me the xlt 450 shock towers uh i emailed them i called they stopped answering my emails they kept telling me we're going to get them in stock never got them in stock um I was all over the place looking for these, even in the groups, in the XLT450 groups. Um, the the people who manufacture this car will not sell just the shock towers. They want to sell you the shock towers, the A-arms, the diff. They want to sell you everything. They want like 300 bucks. I just needed the shock towers. Um, but yeah, I had to get Matt. I had to use these shock. I took these shock towers off of this car, sent it to Matt Speed. Uh, and he took his time and he made these one of a time, one of a kind carbon fiber, six millimeter thick custom shock towers. If anyone is thinking about doing a similar build, reach out to Matt Speed. I'll, I'll try to leave some of his information in the video description as I always do. And as always, if I haven't yet, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to your boy's channel. Um, so let me just show you. This is, I tried to do this build with just low C5 T 2.0 shock towers. This rear shock, this is the rear, this carbon fiber shock tower is the roll is is a uh, is is for this xlt 450 and here next to it is the stock low c 5t 2.0 shock towers you cannot use the 5t 2.0 shock towers many people oh, what's the big deal the car is not going to sit right um with the shot with these shock towers they're too they, these these roll van xlt 450 shock towers are much higher why well, well, keep on saying xlt 450 this is the low c 5mt 2.0 like stop playing with me that's what this is this is not this is nothing roll band a couple parts of roll band but this is low c this is low c taken to the next level because you it's really not a lot of low c on here either everything is upgraded all the major components are upgraded so anyway let me stop talking let's get back to it so shot towers shout out to uh 
max speed. Um, now, um, let's talk about the A arms and the stair and the linkages. The, the A arms and the linkages are Rodan, along with the dog bones for the axle, because these are these A arms are not just extended low C5 T A arms. These are specific for the XLT 450, and uh, because it's based off of the low C, it works. They work 100%. Uh, they're 100% compatible, so I had to use those uh, in the rear and in the front, along with the steering, link, the steering links in the front. But that's what we had to do. All the shocks are still low C5 T 2.0 TLR uh, uh, shocks. Um, and then let's talk. Let's work our way down the car. What you see next is the um, Team Vitavon front and rear uh, differential bulkheads. So shout out to Danny Lou from Team Vitavon. Thank you. Another great guy. Another great dude. Met him. Made a, made a sell on the on the narrow to him. And then we just started talking ever since then. And I've watched these creation take off to the point. So these creation was so dope. Vitavon reached out to him. And now him and Arthur Singh are partners at uh, Team Vitavon. So shout out to both of them. And ever since then, Danny hasn't been in the game long, but he's definitely made waves. Um, and I want to just definitely shout him out for his patience and him also pushing me to the next level uh because there's definitely more to come here um that we're going to get to, into um so again this car was my vision um and i just have a lot of friends that helped me you know get the components and things that i needed to put this vision together so i uh, just kind of want to just keep on reiterating that um so next um what do we want to look at next let's look at the top chassis plate it is rc max rc max top chassis plate and the rc max beautiful billet aluminum chassis beautiful chassis guys let me get it see if i can get you underneath there like it's all billet all brand new um also let me pick it up pick up the back a little bit so you can get a good look at it running the full force rc skids on the bottom of the car so shout out to those both of those companies um also, we are still running a TLR um, uh, bell cranks in the car. Um, we're running the TLR aluminum um, front and rear chassis brace. So here's the front chassis base. Here's the rear chassis brace. Um, we're also running the uh, T TLR upgraded um, uh, hubs, front and rear, front and rear wheel hubs on the car. Look at that. You know your boy went crazy. Don't ask me how much it costs. It costs too much damn money. Um, what else we got on the car? Um, I'm trying to think all the other components. Uh, the diffs, internal diffs. Guess what? These are not inside of here. This, these are from. I don't know if you guys remember the video I made a while ago. These are from that Low C5 T 2.0 that I bought. So the entire drive line is Low C5 and uh, is Low C5 T 2.0. Um, differential components so that's inside those both of those bulkheads and in the center diff is all low C no roll band no king mortar stuff true shit okay so um, what else I am running the RC modified center diff holder for the low C5 T 2.0 in the car that was a great pickup shout out to DDM um, yeah that, that was dope uh, got this from them or did I get it from Detroit Performance? Hey, I don't know. I got it. I got components from both of those places. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, also in the in the middle there, just paying attention to details. That is an upgraded um, aluminum diff cup from TLR. That's when I'm running. No roll van again. Spent the money on the TLR stuff, man. This car is no no frills and really no shade against Rovan. most of you fifth scott scale guys know the Rovan sells a ton of these clones because they're really good clones they're really sturdy clones and they really hold up at a fraction of the price of a real 5t um but it's still a clone at the end of the day um but this time i had to use upgrades to clone the clone so that's funny it's real funny uh so anyway what else we want to talk about here um, i want to talk about the custom uh, battery trays again major major shout out to um, the homie Ted 
If it wasn't for Ted, I wouldn't have been able to make these battery trays. I had the idea of using the Arma battery trays from the Crate N8S, um, and I actually wanted to bolt them to the chassis. But Ted said, nah, why don't we make some nice platforms? Actually, yeah, he said, nah, let's make some nice platforms. So we got some carbon fiber sheet. We put a couple holes through the chassis in this plastic part, um, and we made a, a bracket. The, the idea was I really wanted to run some big 6S or 8S lipos in this car, and the stock brushless conversion kit of uh, um, uh, battery trays weren't going to work, so I had to make my own brushless conversion kit. So for the battery trays, this is what we came up with. Uh, we came up with an elevated carbon fiber uh, plate and then topped it off with the Crate N8S battery trays for extra security and the straps in the car and to protect the batteries from, you know, the exposed gears and things like that. Um, so yeah, did that here and on this side as well. So that's, that's pretty cool. And we also made an ESC plate for the ZTW. So basically we just came up with our own conversion kit. Um, and another piece of the conversion kit is this WFO limited edition WFO motor mount. So major shout out to David Dalmas and Brian Caldo at, um, at WFO, really major shout out to David, man, me and David. I forget how we did this. I don't know if we made a trade. Me and me and Dave, we are forever trading or we're forever buying stuff from each other. He'll buy something from me, I'll buy something from him. We spend money with each other, don't beat up on each other. Really one of the dopest guys I know in the RC game. So if you have a flair, if you've done any deals with WFO, um, if you're in the fifth scale game heavy, uh, with X maxes and five T's and five B's and vectors, and you're into brushless, you know that boy that Dave Diamond. So, major shout out to him. Um, so, I want to thank him for this one of a kind black motor mount um, from the WFO guys. Um, so, then let's talk about electronics components. Um, I am running for right now. I do have some upgraded servos in over there I need to put in, but where right now I have the dual steering setup from the stock LOC 5T 2.0 dual steering setup. And I'm also running in the brake servo uh, from the uh, throttle servo from the LOC 5T. So that's what I have there. Um, as far as the other components, you guys know, I love the ZTW ESC, so I'm running a ZTW 12S ESC. Major shout out to Adam. Somebody returned this to Adam, said it didn't work right. Um, Adam didn't get a chance to test it. I saw it and I said, Adam, what's that? Oh, it's a ZTW, about to send it back. I said, you sure it's broken? Oh, God, said it's broken. I said, I said, well, what you want for it? He said, well, if you can get it to work, then you know, I'll give you a good price on it. And I said, well, what's the price? He said, man, I, I, if you can't get it to work, I'll send it back and whatever, whatever, anyway. He gave me, he made me a deal on an ESC that was potentially broken that I couldn't refuse. I plugged this bad boy in, not a single issue with the ZTW at all. Whoever's, whoever returned this and said that it was an issue, something was wrong with them. This ESC is 100% working condition. So shout out to Adam for making me a deal I couldn't refuse on the ZTW. And of course I'm running the venerable uh, 800KV 2028 motor. Again, I have tell people, you cannot run any ESC greater than 800 kV on this ZTW. Really on a rig this big, really on any fifth scale, you don't really need to run a 1100 or 1200 kV ESC. You know, I would say somewhere between five and 700 kV is enough for a big truck like this. And it'll still whip any gas truck, and you know, any fifth scale truck, any big bore, whatever, it'll still tear that ass up. Um, don't believe me, just watch. Um, no, I'm just talking shit, but seriously, it, there's a lot of torque in brushless cars, and this is one of the best setups that you could put in any car. I highly recommend um, the 2028 800 KV, paired with a ZTW, or paired with Flair, or paired with Leonard, or not, not Leonard, with MGM. This 2028 is a beast, 800 KV all day, 16S, you can run it. Tell them Jay Mitch said that you could. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think who else do I need to shout out? Um, uh, I think, I, I think I went through everything, man. I think I went through every, every possible component of this car. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video and I'll bring you some running video pr really soon. Um, 
I guess I could say I'm, you guys know I'm running Fataba forever in this car. I'm going to run the Fataba receiver um, and the batteries right now. These are Roaring Top 5S LiPos. I'll just put these in just to make sure everything was going in the right direction. But I do have some China Hobby Line brand new 9500 6S LiPos to go run in this car so we can get that maximum run time. Oh yeah, um, I was going to say, I do, I, this is the, the last look at the car. Um, while it's still new, um, yo, I didn't even talk about this wing, man. This wing makes it just really sets the car off, man. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but it's definitely a badass wing to have on the car. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video again. Just want to say thank you all for watching, thank you all for hanging in there with me. Just go again, just the shout outs. I'm gonna shout out my man Elbert Mack with the first brushes XLT 450. Shout out to uh, Marvin Jones for his help with mounting the body to this car uh shout out to matt speed for the shock towers and the custom work that he performed for, to make this build possible um shout out to david Dalmas from wfo for the motor mount um, shout out to danny lou for the team vitavine components hooking your boy up thanks shout out to ted for making my vision become what it is just putting that final that final clean touch to it um a shout out to my man dave hubbard for inspiring the bill and um just yo shout out to me man i i'll be coming up with some stuff once a year i gotta come up with something crazy i know this is going rip um and this is something i'm going to keep for a while I'm not planning on selling this but i tell you what i will do if you're interested if you're interested starting in 2022 if you're interested in a monster beast build let me project manage your build meaning you got a build you want to do let's let's talk let me build it for you uh let me bring the vendors together and build your dreams um and um you guys will be helping me stop buying all these damn rcs i don't even want to show you you know the mess of rcs you know look i'll, I'll show you guys real quick look at this just got a just got a dusty 6ix with a tp just sitting there you got the Mugen up there, the Slash. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I'm going to say thank you all for watching. Um, y'all be good now. Peace.